What's up Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls video. Today, we're doing another sort of analysis type video because you guys seem to love them. Um, the, the, I think the thing that's kind of special about, um, about my reaction series to Gravity Falls compared to a lot of others on YouTube is the fact that I'm really taking the time to kind of sit down, dissect all the episodes and to go through all the codes and stuff like that and, and we're talking through like some pretty complex stuff as well and that's all because I'm a FNAF theorist, I overthink everything. And I have been seeing a lot of your comments on my Gravity Falls videos and there's a few things I want to say. First of all, um, I am a little bit disappointed because occasionally, like it's not everybody, absolutely not, occasionally I get spoiled on small things uh, in the comments. I don't think there's really any way I can avoid that unless I record the whole series at once, but I don't really want to do that because I, I kind of want to still interact with you guys on this series because I think this is a really cool thing that we're doing. So please, even if, like, if you have to ask yourself, is this too spoilery? Just don't, don't comment. Uh, it's better if you just kind of leave me to discover things for myself because at the end of the day, I will be discovering everything. Like, I will be going through the whole show, I'll be going through the book, I will be going through all of the secrets, and if I can't find something, then that's when you guys will come in. So, I guess today what I want to do is I, I kind of want to just clear up, I, I've watched five episodes of season one so far, really enjoying the show, cannot wait to see where it goes next. But there's a few secrets that I've actually missed, and I'm, I'm kind of surprised that I've missed these things. So I think first of all, let's get in. Let's get back into like the intro. So I I want to bring up Premiere Pro right now. Okay, so this is Premiere Pro. This is what I use to edit my videos, uh, as well as After Effects if I want to do some cool, funky explosions and effects and stuff. Uh, what I've got is the first five episodes of Gravity Falls here, all of them. Uh, this is what I use to obviously edit my Gravity Falls reactions. This is so that you can actually see the clips. Um, and what I want to do real quick is I, I want to test something. I want to test because I, I sometimes I kind of I watch the first part and then I kind of get to the actual intro and I kind of skip it. Uh, so what I want to test out right now is whether each intro is the same or whether there's slight differences between these intros. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this audio track because we, we just don't need it right now. That will come in useful later on um, when we do some other stuff. Uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna get episode number two as well. And I'm gonna put that there. Oh, all of these are gonna have audio tracks. I wonder if there's a better way to do this. Oh, there we go. I think that's, does that, oh no, never mind. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be such a big process, but I think it, it might be worth it. it. It could very well be worth it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the intro of each episode, and I'm going to kind of single it out. So, this is episode 5 that we're looking at right here. I think the intro is a little bit further on. Here it is. And it begins with this, uh, the waterfall. The gravity falls, as you may call it. We want to get the first frame where you can see it, so it is going to be there. And then we're going to cut that and put it right at the beginning. And I'm going to do that for all of the videos. Okay, so I've got the intro for all five episodes that I've watched so far. Obviously, uh, this isn't, maybe there will be intros that change later on, but who knows. Um, so here is the clever part, right? We have this, this intro and it's in the same place for all episodes. So it's going to finish, uh, it should finish for all episodes around here. And here is this frame here that we've, that we've seen many times before now. And then Bill is kind of fading out of existence. That's something I haven't talked about yet. We're gonna delete this. Here is where the magic comes in. We are going to go to our effects and we are going to take this opacity down to let's just do 50 percent for each one so what we should be seeing here is uh if if any of them if any of the episodes are actually different we should be seeing the effects of that right because the opacity has gone down by half 
and so we will be able to see if there's anything that's out. So let's go to the beginning and let's take a watch. Okay, looking good so far. This is the classic intro. Is anything out of place? That looks fine. I don't think there is anything here then. Maybe not. How interesting. It all looks exactly the same. And just to show you that this actually does work, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one of them out. I'm gonna make the fifth episode out and you can see it, it, it has like this ghost image on the top. So if there was something that was out of place or if there was something that changed between the intros of different episodes, then we would have seen it. So I'm, I believe that means all episodes intros are the same. Now, something that I, uh, I actually did pick up on uh, in my last reaction video, so my reaction video to episodes three, four and five, I picked it up while reacting to episode five very briefly and I didn't go back and check it. And that is that I heard whispering at the end of the intro and I wanna see, I wanna see if it's in all of the intros and I wanna hear what it says if possible. Um, I don't know if that's something I can do or not or how to decipher it if it's gonna be gibberish, but let's go. I think it was around here. So let's cut this and I'm gonna turn my volume up and we're gonna listen to this. There's definitely, there's definitely whispering. There's 100% whispering. Where is it? It's here. Okay. What is it saying though? I can't hear what it's saying. Uh, this, this might be a bit loud. I'm so sorry. It's backwards. It's backwards. Um, yeah, it's like, it, it, it sounds like it's being said backwards. Oh my God. This is going to be so creepy, isn't it? I'm going to reverse it and it's going to say like, you're dead to me or something. <laughs> that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be creepy at all. So um, I need to go to speed and duration and reverse speed. And this should give me a good idea of what it's saying. Three letters back. Damn, that's cool. Damn, that's cool. Three letters back. That's, it's really faint, but you can, you can hear it. It's, it says three letters back. So that's how you, you decipher the code. Although I don't think, I feel like that's a bit of a weird place to put that clue. Like that's very obscure. I would have said that most people would see the credits code before even hearing this or whatever. But oh, oh, I guess I guess you could see the code, but not know how to decipher it. Maybe I was just too smart. <laughs> so knowing this, let's see if it's the same for every episode. It could be. Like I I wouldn't doubt the show for having the same um, whispering and and like the same words for each episode. I think that was that would probably um, work quite well. Cause like it's three letters back, like that's gonna be, it's the same code for each episode. So why wouldn't they have the same whispering? It still said three letters back. Yeah. Uh, that's really horrifying though. Oh, I hate it. I really hate it. My question actually, I can't believe I haven't asked this question yet. Is where are these codes coming from? Are they coming from a character? Are they coming from Bill? Like, is that Bill talking to us? Um, because that would be a, a cool reveal if, if it was almost like Bill was talking to us through the episodes, but, um, but we can't understand it unless we solve his like ciphers and stuff like that. Uh, almost like we can't communicate with him unless we have the book and the secrets of the book. Um, so yeah, that's that's interesting to think about. So then I have a few more things uh, and, and these are things specifically that I heard in the comments. Um, actually, the first one is something I, I noticed while editing, which I'm, I'm really stupid for. So the code for um, 
the code for episode five that I deciphered was, let me remind myself, it was onwards Aoshima. And I was like, what the hell is Aoshima? Sounds like uh, a character's name or uh, like a place name. Um, turns out uh, I wasn't paying enough attention during the episode. Uh, classic me, not paying attention. No, to be honest, like there's there's a lot to take in in these episodes. So you can't really blame me for missing things like that. Um, but I'm gonna go back in episode five and I think I know where it is. Uh, it is when Mabel, yes, it is where Mabel has the dolphin that then pukes out a fist and then like another three fists and then it rotates like a helicopter or something. It was such a weird scene that I didn't even listen to it really. Uh, so where is it? Let me react to this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great. Okay, we we know that part. Um, it's it's here. The future is in the past. Onward, Sayoshima. That is exactly why I missed it because she said the future is in the past, and I was laughing so hard at that because I just like. What does that even mean? I, I, I'm pretty sure in the reaction I just went, huh? Uh, but in my head I was like laughing my head off. I was thinking the future is in the past, the future is in the past, what does that mean? Uh, and I clearly missed that line. So onwards Aoshima, I think it is actually. Um, but there you go. And then uh, one thing that I heard in the comments is I should look at the other hallucination that we had from Mabel. So I'm going to get to that point now. Okay, here it is. That is a great screenshot. Uh, I believe this is where there's um, there's like dogs. Um, I can't really remember what this was. Let me have a look. Would you like to eat my candy paws? Of course. Okay, so I think I know what the comments might be referring to. I think that dog right there has a secret code. Is it backwards again? Surely they wouldn't do the same thing twice. Um, I feel like it, it could very well be. If it's not, it may be slowed as well because it, it seems like a very deep voice. So um, maybe I can speed it up and it may say something. Um, but let's hear what he has to say. So let me just kind of go to around here. Okay. And then I think I'm going to reverse it first and see and try that. Um, let's see. I don't, I can't really make that out. Is it a speed thing? Um, let me try 130 speed. He's definitely saying something and I think it is reverse, but I think I just can't quite make it out. Uh, let me speed it up to 200%, see if that does anything. I swear he says like, this is awesome or something. Hmm, can't figure it out. Okay, so instead I found a video, it's Gravity Falls Smile Dip Dog Backwards by Blargalt. <laughs> Uh, and we're going to see if this helps. So, would you like to eat my candy paws? Of course, you little angel. <laughs> I, I do think it's gibberish. <laughs> Hmm. Really must distrust Grunkle? Really? I don't know, man. That seems a bit of a stretch. Let me let me listen to it for myself. <laughs> I guess, I guess, although now it's it's like, um, now it's suggestive hearing, right? You, you've given me words and now 
I'm only going to be able to hear those words because you've suggested that's what it is. You could say it's something completely different and I may believe you, but like... I can hear must distrust. I don't know about Grunkle, but let's think about the implications of that. Um, obviously we know, we know that Grunkle Stan can't be trusted. Uh, <laughs> he cannot be trusted at all, absolutely not because of episode number one, because of the fact that he has a book just like Gideon does. Um, there seems to be a lot of Bill imagery around his house, I don't know if that's him like worshipping this demon or something, but this is, uh, this is interesting. I, I don't know if I believe that, but let's go with it. <laughs> so there's one more thing I believe that I remember seeing very briefly in the comments that you guys were telling me to look at, and that is this secret, um, like this cheat code right here. Um, so we have up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. And, and I instantly saw that and I was like, that, that looks like a sequence of um, inputs that you can put into a video game to get yourself a cheat code. And apparently people are saying in the comments that I am pretty close and that this is actually a famous cheat code. I don't know anything else other than that. So let's let's kind of look this up. Let's look into this. Oh, wow. So funnily enough, I, I put in up, up, down, down, left, and it's instantly giving me, giving me a song by the Ataris called up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start, which is, ex which is pretty close. It, it doesn't have the select, but I'll, I'll let it go. So it seems like, okay, yeah. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, cheat code. Um, okay. Kazuhisha, Kazuhiha, Kaz, Kazuhiha, Kaz, I can't say this name. Kahu, Kazu, Ka, Kazuhisa Hashimoto, creator of famous Konami code, gaming cheat, dies. Great. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, that guy died. Oh. Players would enter up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA and start on a controller to activate the Konami code. It was first used in the game Gradius, but later made famous on Nintendo with Contra. Um, okay. But what is it? Okay, let's look on Reddit. Let's look on r slash ask old people. That's a good idea. I don't know if you can see this. Hang on. Look, it's literally r slash ask old people. What? Uh, it's the Konami code, a cheat code for some NES games back in the day. Um, Contra code. It was a pattern, one of many you could do within some games to access special things in the game. Some codes gave you infinite lives or invincibility, for example. Basically, it started so the programmers could easily access certain things and they didn't. They just didn't remove them. In the time before the internet, you could pretty much only learn them through word of mouth or trial and error. That's crazy. That That's really cool, actually. Um, so what that's saying to me, like the first thing that's coming to mind here is um, it's almost like, like, the, hmm, the thing that, the thing that daunted on me was some codes gave you infinite lives or invincibility. It's it, maybe um, there's like a whole immortality worshipping thing here or something. Or maybe it's like history repeats itself. Or, um, you know, like Stan is trying to find a cheat code to life in a way. Or, I don't know. I don't know. Like, there, there must be... So what, I, what I'm thinking is, um, what I'm thinking is the Konami code, uh, however you say it, it probably doesn't, it probably doesn't have that much to do with Gravity Falls. I, I think they may have just put that there to say this is a this is a cheat code. We've we've put in a cheat code. Um, what does this have to do with things? Like there you go. Um, I feel like that probably could be accurate. Um, I don't really know. Hmm. 
I don't know what else it could uh, it could do. Okay, a few more things before I end out this video, um, because I, I don't want these videos to go on too long, uh, otherwise you'll be quite in, dis disinterested in them at the end of it. But um, uh, what I'm looking at here, I, again, I cannot believe I keep going back to the screen and still I, I'm still finding things, or I'm still piecing things together. So a few things. First of all, astrology. So I, I've mentioned many times that this looks like a, an astrology wheel, a zodiac, almost. Um, and I don't think I've ever used the term zodiac, but it it, it kind of fits for this, I, I feel like, because I feel like zodiac is more sort of, I don't know, it, it sounds more godlike. I don't know how, I don't know why it sounds more godlike, but like the, the signs of the zodiac. Uh, I don't actually know why it's called the zodiac signs. I, I might need to look that up, but it looks like a zodiac wheel almost, right? Um, and the reason I think that's interesting is because of something that I pieced together um, literally the other day at like 2 a.m. when I was trying to get to sleep and I couldn't sleep. I, 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 I like jerked up and I was like, wait, <laughs> uh, I had one of those moments. Um, Dipper, Dipper. I was like, why the name Dipper? And then it came to me, right? Dipper sounds familiar. Um, the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper, right? It's a star sign. The Big Dipper is a constellation. Oh, it's not, sorry, yeah, it's not a star sign. It's a, it's a constellation. Uh, it's, it's the most famous constellation. Isn't it, um, I don't know much about ast astrology and the stars and stuff, but isn't it, isn't it a thing of the, the end of the dipper kind of points towards the North Star? Let's have a look on the Wikipedia page for the Big Dipper. Um, US, Canada, the plow is a, oh, the plow. We, apparently we call it the plow. I've, I've actually never heard that. <laughs> it's a large asterism consisting of seven bright stars of the constellation Ursa Major. Six of them are of second magnitude and one Megrez of third magnitude. Four define a bowl or body and three define a handle or head. Um, the North Star, the current Northern Pole, pole Star and the tip of the handle of the Little Dipper can be located by extending an imaginary line through the front two stars of the asterism, uh, making it useful in celestial navigation. Yes, yes, that's what I've heard, right? Oh, some uh, Greek alphabet there. Um, so where, what, what's like the the law of of the the big D, the big dipper? Because I want to know if it like means something or if it represents anything. Um, okay, I I don't think I am getting anywhere with this, but I think that was uh, an interesting lead, nevertheless. Um, because you know, like you have to question why he's called Dipper. <laughs> it's it's not a, a name I've heard before, I'll put it that way. I'm also wondering if there's like a Mabel. Okay, is there a Mabel constellation? Asterism Mabel, um, uh, oh, that's true. Mabel wears a, a shooting star. Hmm. Um, Obviously, I don't want to click on the thing I don't want to do in these videos is look up answers and get spoilers and stuff like that So I'm, I'm really trying to stay away from Gravity Falls stuff specifically um, But there we go like <laughs> First first thing is Dipper and Mabel uh, When I've searched up asterism Mabel hmm It's uh, that's interesting Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about a little bit, um, and probably the last thing for today's video, I, I do actually have a lot more I want to go through in the episodes themselves, but I'm going to um, kind of alternate videos, uh, almost do some episode, some reactions to the episodes, and then a discussion of the episodes, and then reaction, and then discussion. I think that's a good way to do it. Um, the last thing I want to talk about today, though, is these symbols down here again which are alchemy symbols, as we said. So while I was editing that video, like funny enough, while I'm editing these videos, I actually come up with more and more theories in my head. 
Um, while I was editing that last video where we did like a, a dissection of the lore a little bit, uh, I did actually see something that I completely missed um, when I was researching this sort of stuff. So pentagram, right? Uh, th this is what came up when I first searched up um, that uh, in that first kind of breakdown. Uh, I was I was looking at these and I and I brought up this this one I think or it might have been a different one. Uh, but either way, I was I was bringing up some pictures of pentagrams, and uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, usually it has the circle around it, right? Turns out, look at this, right? I didn't realize this. I'm wondering if a pentagram actually has meaning to all of the points. But th this makes sense, right? You've got the spirit, you've got the air, the water, the earth, the fire. All of the elements, really, uh, that we I, I think we talked about last time. Um, so is that an actual thing? It, it looks like it is. One of my favorite websites Britannica, it's, it's actually a really good website. So, pentagram is a symbol, five-pointed star, continuous line of five straight segments. Fine. It's often used in magic and the occult uh, devil. Mathematically, the segments of the pentagram exhibit the golden ratio, uh, making it aesthetically pleasing. I would say it's aesthetically pleasing. I want like a pentagram tattoo here, and no, I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, so this is interesting. In modern times, the pentagram is most often associated with neo-pagan religions, especially Wicca. It is often depicted enclosed in a circle, a symbol known as the pentacle. That's really cool. I didn't know that existed. Um, in these traditions, the five points often represent the five elements of air, fire, water, earth, and spirit. So notice how this is modern time pentagrams. So this would definitely be the one that they would take for the show. Um, although, actually, actually looking back, there is no, um, there's no circle around Gideon's pentagram. Um, but that doesn't really, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, the thing that I've, I, I found interesting is how it was depicted, and, and, it, and it was depicted alongside the um, the alchemy stuff, the alchemy symbols. So if I remember correctly, this is earth, wind, and then something, something, was this, uh... yes, it was arsenic, because I remember doing the symbols and it was just completely wrong. So this was arsenic, this is gold or the sun, sol, and then I was like, oh my gosh, there's just, there's just a random square there. I'm such an idiot, by the way. Uh, if I looked further into this, turns out, I think that means matter. I think that just, just means matter. And the thing that I also found interesting about the symbols, which, which I've never really seen before, to be honest, this one represents wind, right? This pointed up triangle with a line through it. Look at Bill Cipher. I don't know if this means anything or if it's intentional in any way, but he is literally that circle, right? He's literally, circle? <laughs> he is he is literally right he's he's literally that uh triangle with a split in the middle um and if you want to take it even further right which i know you do he's enclosed in a circle which is which you could say is like a spirit and it also like this this symbol for the sun or soul actually looks similar to an eye. I know this is a bit of a stretch. Maybe he's like a sun god or something. Um, that, that would also make, make sense with like the Egyptian kind of the, the pyramid um, bricks and stuff that he's also got. I, I don't know what, what I'm going on about, but I think all this alchemy stuff is very interesting and I would love, I, I would just love to delve more into it and learn all about it because I, I actually really like learning about this sort of stuff even though it's not really applicable to um, modern day society and life and stuff like that. I think it's, I think it's really cool to learn about um, and that sort of history is, is just really fascinating to me. I think that's where I'm going to end it for now. Um, and, I, and I have a lot more things as well that I really, really want to dive deep into, but I think I'm going to wait. Um, I'm going to wait because I, I want to make uh, a good amount of videos on this 
and I want to do more reactions before we kind of make a lot more theories and do a lot more speculation because as you know right now all of this is just speculation I'm sure that as the law builds I'm gonna get closer and closer to the truth um, but right now it's it's kind of like I'm throwing spaghetti at a wall and seeing if it sticks um, <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this video, make sure that you subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, reactions are going to keep coming out at a, at a fairly regular pace I hope. Uh, I think I might start recording my next one right now so that will be up this week. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye!